select the major product of the following series of reactions. So we see that we are starting here with a secondary alcohol. And we have two reactions here. So the first one is this hypochlorous acid at zero degrees Celsius. So hopefully we recognize this first step as being a mild oxidizing step. So mild oxidizing conditions. So what would happen with your hypochlorous acid is that, so from this first step, if you had a primary alcohol, it would oxidize that primary alcohol to an aldehyde. So this is where we see the selectivity in our alcohol oxidations is with primary alcohols because they can be oxidized to an aldehyde or they can be oxidized further to a carboxylic acid. So under these conditions, if you had a primary alcohol, you make an aldehyde. We have a secondary alcohol and we don't really see selectivity here because when you oxidize a secondary alcohol, regardless of the conditions you use, you're going to make the ketone. So that's what's going to happen in this first step. So the product of this first step with your hypochlorous acid at low temperature is that you're going to make the ketone. And once we've made this ketone, the next step is we are adding molecular bromine and an aqueous acid solution. This is alpha halogenation conditions. And so what we need to know is under acidic conditions, how many of these alpha hydrogens are going to be replaced with your halogens. And under acidic conditions is where we can control this reaction. So we can add just one bromine to the alpha position. So, and that is because of the fact that it's acidic. So that's key to this step is that it's acidic. We can replace just one alpha hydrogen. And just to be clear, what we're replacing that alpha hydrogen with is a halogen. So in this case, bromine. So once we do this reaction with the Br2 and aqueous acid, we're gonna replace one of these alpha hydrogens. So we will end up with the alpha halo ketone right here. And so why we might wanna do this is once you introduce an alkyl halide, now you've got another electrophilic carbon. So this opens up the possibility of substitution reactions um, or if we had a longer alkyl chain here so we could form a double bond, we could think about elimination as well.